I can assure you, my friends, that when I went into the bathroom, the bed did not look like this. He's once again made his little fort down in this little pile. And as soon as I sit down and drink my coffee, I'm going to start hearing some rustling, and he's going to pop his head out of there and start staring at me. I thought for sure just hearing me talk, he would do it. He's getting smart. Well, good morning, Lionhearts. I hope you guys got your fill of cemeteries, because I'm not going to another one for a little while. I am, uh, I am cemeteried out, I'm telling you. I have to, uh, I have to go to Kinko's and print something off because I'm working today at around 12.30, so. Working a wedding, but I went ahead and I, uh, I went on a little adventure for you guys already. This one was a lot of fun. I mean, I didn't even know it was out here, and then all of a sudden I stumbled upon it. I had already done the vlog that day, and I was like, forget it, man. I am going out there now, because I, I, I told you guys I was either going to work a, a five-day gig... Or I already had a two-day gig booked, and the two-day gig will let me cancel if I have the five-day one. I didn't end up getting that one, unfortunately. That would have been really great money. So I have to work today, and I have to work a Super Bowl party tomorrow, so I've already done your vlogs, and I hope you guys enjoy them. When I go to work is when you're going to get them. So I'm going to drink my coffee, get my shower, and then uh, John and I are going to walk down to Kinko's and see what kind of trouble we can get into before I have to go to work. Days with Jordan the Lion starts now. John, I've been up for 20 minutes, and I've already seen on YouTube complaints that you weren't in the vlog enough. You know, uh, I have to go work today, so it's going to be a slower day for you and I, but I'm going to... Oh, I'm sorry to bore you. It's going to be a slower day for us, but uh, I'm going to get my shower here in a little bit after I make the juice, and I'm going to take you out for a big walk, and we're going to go to uh, Kinko's. You like to go too, don't you? You like to go too! Oh, he's going to attack me. See what you guys did? All right, I got the juicing stuff cut up. Same stuff as usual. One lemon, two green apples, a cucumber, four stalks of celery, and a whole head of kale. Oh, and a little piece of ginger. Let's rock. There it is. That's everything I had juiced out. There's a trifecta. I didn't think you guys would really need a trip into the Kinkos for enjoyment, so I skipped that part for you. And just back out on Hollywood walking home. Alright guys, I gotta get dressed and get to work. Uh, I gotta go work a wedding like I told you, but have no fear. You guys are going to Chatsworth and uh, to a tiny little section of what used to be the Iverson Movie Ranch. Well, I'm out here at the Santa Susana Pass and uh, I heard that the rock where the uh, intro to the Lone Ranger was. was out here and I found it. So I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna hike down and I'm gonna show you this. Now I didn't actually grow up with the show obviously because it was in the early 50s but uh, it had originally been a radio show and it had been so popular that they decided to make it a TV show and it was like the first real like TV show that took off and uh, all the little boys in the nation were wearing black masks and hats and the star of the show was Clayton Moore. And uh, Clayton Moore was actually, he was Lone Ranger for the first two seasons, and then they replaced him with John Hart. And then, I guess that didn't work out because they brought Clayton Moore back for the fourth and fifth season. And the fifth season is the only season that they did that was, uh, that was in color. The rest of them were in black and white, but the show would always, like, start with... Clayton Moore as the Lone Ranger and uh, Silver doing a big leaping mount and 
Lone Ranger, of course, going hi ho, silver away. And, uh, and then, of course, you know, that's where Tonto came from, his sidekick, and Tonto would call Lone Ranger Kimosabi. But since I got out here a little bit late in the day, the sun's starting to go down. And, uh, you know, what's cool about this is that there's a lot of stuff to see out here, but they filmed a lot of the John Wayne westerns and stuff up in here. And I just noticed, and there was a guy out here doing the same thing I was, looking at the... Uh, Lone Ranger Rock and he said yeah they have a, a train track going right up there and that's where the camera would have been and they would have filmed a lot of those horse scenes where the people were riding the horse down through the canyons and they would have actually had the cameras on that track so I'm gonna go ahead and hike up here now and uh, get up as close to there where Clayton Moore would have been doing his high silver away now apparently have they have a few trails up here that if I'm good, I won't, uh, I won't kill myself going through all these rocks. Well, here we go. Today's adventure involves a hike. I didn't really know I was going to do this. Or I wouldn't have wore Air Jordans. <laughs> but I do want to get it done because once the sun starts going down, the snakes and stuff come out. Let's just follow some paths. Now this was actually a pretty famous movie ranch out here. Now they've, uh, it's been donated as a park, but it was the Iverson Movie Ranch. And we're pretty close to where the, uh, the Spawn Movie Ranch was, where, uh, Charles Manson, Charles Manson lived. All right. There's a little cave back in there. Now I just gotta figure out how to get on top of this thing. Yeah, these shoes were not the best. All right, now I'm pretty close, and I just followed the good rule of thumb, which is usually just follow where it looks like there's a path that somebody else has followed. So hopefully I'm here. Friends, that was not easy. Even though it looks easy, the guy that I ran into out here told me he used to party out here. So there was an easier way to get here, and however that easy way was, I didn't take it. <laughs> But I think I made it. I think I made it. I totally made it. Right there. There it is. I totally made it. That's the uh, Lone Ranger Rock. Let's see if I can get closer to it. I've had to walk through a lot of these like burned out sticks and stuff, but it's so worth it to see something this cool and this historical. Right here. We're there. That's it. Perfect time of day too, right as the sun's going down and right here is where Silver and the Lone Ranger would have been. Who is that masked man? It's the Lone Ranger. Before today, I didn't even know this was out here. And I started looking around and I saw it was here and I'm like, I have to go see that. I have to go see the Lone Ranger Rock. And there it is. Wow. Early 50s, man. Over 50 years ago that happened. I think they'd have a little historic marker here or something, wouldn't you? The Lone Ranger's Rock. Hi-ho, silver away! Wow, so cool. I'm so happy I got to see that. And I know my grandpa probably loved the Lone Ranger. He always loved those great Western shows. So let's see if I can't find an easier way home now. Oh, let's see. Let's see where I could have cut through earlier that would have made my life easier. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I guess I could have probably went through here. Yeah, there actually was an easier way. I didn't realize up in this private community you could just 
walk in between the buildings and walk right down here. So if you're ever out here to do this hike, that's how you do it, friends. And you'll wear some pretty good shoes. Back to civilization. Actually, I think, uh, I think a friend of mine, one of the guys who's taken my headshots before lives up in this uh, gated community. Check that out. I don't know what the devil that is. Old type car or something? Old car body? Wow. All right guys, I wanna show you a little bit about where I'm working today. Hope your trip to uh, Santa Susana Pass was awesome. Now check this out. This massive 150 year old church that you're staring at, that's where I'm working today. All that you've missed since you went out to see the Lone Ranger Rock was uh, while I was driving, I saw a cloud formation that looked like one of the Hair Bear Bunch. Other than that, you haven't missed a thing. Two thousand seven. So yeah, like I said, one hundred and fifty years. Wow. Fifty years old. Little pipe organ. What a cool landscape, huh? Almost home. Well, Lion Hearts, I hope you had a great trip to the Lone Ranger Rock and uh as many things as I went out to see in the time that I've lived in Los Angeles, that was another one of those things that for some reason, when I got there, I was just overjoyed to see it. I don't know. That was just like, the Lone Ranger has been used as a popular culture reference in everything. I mean, of course, Married with Children, Al Bundy used to talk about how he wanted to be buried, buried there beside uh, <laughs> the Lone Ranger and Tonto and and uh, Tonto's horse and whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, tomorrow I have to work even longer. I have to work a 10 hour day tomorrow, but I, if you remember about a week ago, I went to Downey and I told you guys I did some extra vlogging down there. So you're gonna get some uh, Downey vlogs tomorrow. So come back and see me. I know you guys will. I'm gonna be working a Super Bowl party, so I won't be watching the Super Bowl, which is probably the best way to do it. Make money if you don't care who wins the game. So hopefully back to on Monday we'll be back on our regular schedule and uh, I'm so tired I'm jumbling on my words. So if you wouldn't mind sharing this video or whatever videos of mine that you like with your friends so we can get the word out, um, please like, subscribe, everything. And even though I don't have any new Patreons to thank, I have two Patreons that I really want to thank because they upped their donation per month. I mean, I was shocked this week, two people who were already donors, like increased how much they want to donate. So that's so cool. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. The vlog appreciates it. And, uh, I go out of my way to try and bring you guys something interesting every day. And I appreciate that you guys watch it. So my views have like doubled per day right now, as opposed to what they were like maybe even two or three weeks ago. So I'm really seeing some growth and, uh, I appreciate you guys. So from Hollywood, California, have a great night, have a great day, and uh, John and I say good night.